This is Mr. Anger with a lesson about the ACE PACE Math 1085, 1084, sorry. Uh, we want to look at the section at, right before the first checkup and uh, kind of give you some tips on how to do the uh, conversion, unit conversions. I hope that you worked through those first few pages, followed the examples, and were able to uh, successfully do those. But let's just review real quick here at the end of this section before you try to do the checkup. Let's take first of all the method of doing ratios, uh, proportions, in order to solve for the uh, conversion of units. So the first step is we take the number of inches in a foot and we're going to put 12 inches on the top and one foot on the bottom. And since 12 inches and one foot are the same, we just put one on the top, one on the bottom. Now we're going to take the 18 inches and put that up here. And this is what we're solving for. I think in the paste they use N to represent the unknown number. And then we solve by cross multiplying. So 18 times 1 equals 12 times N. And now I can divide both sides by 12. And so N equals 18 twelfths which would be 1 with 6 inches left over. If we divided the 18 by 12 like this, you would get 1 and 6 left over. So that means we have 1 foot and 6 inches. All right? So sometimes the confusing step is that when you get to here, what do you do? We simplify any fraction by taking the top number and putting it under the doghouse, as I always call it, and then divide by the denominator. When you do that, we get 1. The remainder is the inches. So we have 1 foot with 6 inches left over. All right, let's do the same type of a thing, this time with miles and going into feet. Now, one of the facts that they expect that we have memorized is that 1 foot, excuse me, one mile, all right, one-fifth of a mile, and we're going from miles to feet. All right, that's... Right, one-fifth of a mile over an unknown number of feet equals, and then over here we're going to put the five, th excuse me, one mile, all right, I'm confusing myself here, one mile over 5,280 feet. Now it doesn't matter which one goes on top and which one goes on the bottom, and actually with this one over here I could have done one foot over 12 inches and set that equal to n over 18 inches, all right? And we would still solve it the same way. 18 times 1 equals 12 times n, and that's what we got here, all right? So we have miles over feet. n means I don't know what it is. One mile over 5,280 feet. And so now to solve, we're going to cross multiply the numbers and so 1n equals 1 fifth times 5,280. So to solve that, we're going to take 5,280 and divide by 5. All right, and I'm getting into my work down here, but it ends up being 1,056. All right, <laughs> I did that before we started the video. Let's talk about adding units. You know that uh, we just add straight down. So I'll get 15 inches, and over here get seven feet. However, 15 inches is more than one foot. Let me get this out of the way, because we're gonna use the same ratio method now to convert the 15 inches, all right? So we know that one foot is 12 inches, 
and I want to know how many feet, so n, over 15. And so now I can cross multiply 12n equals 15. And then to solve for n, I'm going to divide by 12. So 15 divided by 12, and I get the remainder of 3. So this means I have 1 foot. So I'm going to add 1 foot and 3 inches. I'm going to do this in a separate spot here, all right? I'm taking the 7 feet and I'm converting this to be 1 foot 3 inches. So I get 8 feet 3 inches. All right, so let's look at what we did again. We added the 8 plus 7 and got 15 inches, added the 2 plus 5 and got 7. But 15 inches is more than 1 foot. So by setting up the ratio, we can solve 15 divided by 12 means 1 foot, and the remainder here is going to be 3 inches. That came over here, and we substitute the 15 inches now. We substitute 1 foot 3 inches, and then we can add and we have the answer. Let's talk about subtracting. <clears throat> I can easily subtract 11 minus 4 and get 7. But I'm supposed to subtract 8 from 5. Now, don't make the mistake of thinking, oh, I can subtract 5 from 8 and get 3. We can't do that, all right? We have to subtract 8 from 5, and we, that would give me an... I just can't do it, all right? So what we're going to do is borrow 1 foot. So we're going to change this to be a 10. But now when we bring that foot over, how many inches are in 1 foot? 12 inches, right? So I don't add 1 to the 5 and make it 6. I don't even add 10. A lot of students do that. They think, oh, I'm borrowing, so I need to add 10. And they try to make that into a 15. But that's not what we're borrowing. We're borrowing 1 foot, which is 12 inches. So 5 plus 12 makes this 17 inches. And now I can subtract 17 inches minus 8 inches. And the answer is 9 inches. And then over here, instead of 11, I use the 10. 10 minus 4 is 6 feet. All right? So we've got several things here we're going to have on this checkup coming up. Here's another example. We're going to subtract feet and yards. But here again, I cannot subtract 2 feet from 1 foot. So I need to borrow 1 yard. So I'm going to make this a 4. But when I bring that one yard over, how many feet are in one yard? Again, I'm not going to use 10, all right? I'm going to use three feet because that one yard is the same as three feet. Added to the one foot makes this four feet. And now I can subtract four feet minus two feet is two feet. Four yards minus two yards is two yards. All right, so hopefully that... A little review helps you with the checkup, and it looks like all of the problems on page 15 and 16 are of this type. There, you ought to look over um, questions 1 through 8, and then especially 9 through 16 before you start, and just make sure you remember how to do the ratio method, the proportions, and uh, do those conversions carefully. All right.